Hello, Papsters! Welcome to Pep! And we have for the first time po, no, isang karangalan ito na makasama po natin siya ngayon. 26 Asian TV Awards Best News Anchor, Mr. Rico Hizon. Hello po, sir. Good Hello, GP! Hello to all the Pepsters! I'm a big fan of Pep.ph. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Ako, thank you rin po. At saka thank you po sa ano, very vibrant natin, ano, painto. At least hindi natin kailangan super maging, ano, parang super formal. Super, ano, <laughs> casual formal na sikahan. Formal na ako. Formal na formal. Yan, yan po, eh. <laughs> saka gong si Fatshoy, kung hey Fatshoy, hindi ba? It is the year of the water tiger. Yan. Correct. Gabi, ang ganda nga po, ano din, no, simula. Lalo na po sa inyo, especially because kakapanalan nyo lang po sa 26 Asian TV Awards as wow. Best News Anchor. So congratulations po. And your show din po, di ba? Ay, That's grabe. right. Uh, yes, it's here. <laughs> grabe, no? Grabe. Um, yeah. Dalawa sila, no? So yeah. it, is, uh, it is such an honor, uh, Jim P, to be winning these two awards in the same year. I mean, uh, wala pang mga Pilipi- Filipino anchor ang nakapanalo ng Best News Anchor and Best News Program. So, yes. I'm really very, very proud na I won it for CNN Philippines and for the whole uh, news organization. Kasi, alam mo naman, Jim P, uh, it's always a team effort, hindi ba? The cameraman, the production assistant, the producers, executive producers, the correspondents, it's all a team effort. In, in This Best News Show... Uh, best program and best news anchor is because of the men and women of CNN Philippines. Mm-hmm. Yun nga po, ano, kay, kayo ang first Filipino talaga na makapanala ng back-to-back award. So, kamusta po? Nung, the first time you found out na, uy, kayo ang ano, winner no in-announce. Paano po ba naging awarding ceremony this year? Uh, of course, uh, usually this is held in Singapore. Tapos, uh, you, the nominees go to Singapore and then there's a big awards night in uh, one of the big hotels. Pero f- for the past two years, uh, everything was virtual. This year was virtual. So what happened was we were all watching. I mean, the whole uh, CNN Philippines, the news team, and uh, the the members of the final word, we were all watching. Tapos, ina nga, it was announced na nanalo tayo ng best news anchor at best news program. So, I mean, until now, no, it is still a dream for me to win this uh, this statuette. Alam mo, you're talking about uh, dozens of countries, dozens of news anchors, dozens of um, news programs being nominated, tapos uh, shortlisted to six from China to Thailand, Taiwan, India, Korea, tapos hindi ba, ang nanalo ay isang Pinoy. So, this is for all Filipino broadcast journalists and for the Filipino people itong pagkapanalo natin ng Asian Television Awards. Yes, congratulations po ulit ano no. Tapos di ba medyo parang ano hindi pa agad dumating yung trophy, parang nitong recent lang siya dumating. So, iba pa rin yung feeling na nakita niyo na po finally yung inyong ano parang ito na nasa harap niyo na. That's true kasi hindi ba nung December 10 it is just a slide. Eh. Totoo ba talaga ito? Nanalo ba talaga tayo? Tapos it arrived uh, several weeks later, it was shipped uh, from Singapore, and uh, nung nakita ko talaga, I mean, wow, it's it's for real, it's true that uh, CNN Philippines won this recognition. It's the first time also that CNN Philippines has won at the uh, Asian Television Awards. I mean, it's already been ongoing for 26 years, but of course, CNN Philippines is a very young news network. It's uh, seven years old, so maganda talaga na uh, nanalo tayo uh, para sa ating uh, news network na CNN Philippines. Malaking karangalan karangalan ito. Opo. Pero kayo po ba sir first time nyo rin ba na nanalo sa ano, Asian TV Awards? Di ba parang meron kayong past win or was it yes. mm-hmm. uh, When I was with BBC World News uh, nanalo yung show ko News Day for Best News Program. That was about mm-hmm. five years ago. And then in 2014, uh, I was uh, highly commended in the best news anchor category. That means you are the second best because usually the Asian mm-hmm. Television Awards will give you a best news anchor tapos yung highly commended. Highly commended parang it, it was too close to call, right? But there only yes. has to be one winner. So mm-hmm. I was uh, given the highly commended uh, recognition in the 2014 uh, 
Asian Television Awards. Alam mo, it's so difficult to uh, to win this uh, this award because I mean, there are just so many um, great journalists in the Asia Pacific region. JMP, ang gagaling nila. So we have to uh, really do our best day in and day out. Deliver the news, news you can use, news you can trust, uh, day in and day out, for us to to win this uh, this recognition from the uh, Asian Television Awards. And we would like to thank Asian TV Awards and the judges for giving us uh, this recognition. Right. Parang ito po na finally na sa inyo na yung trophy kasi yung last time parang biniti ng konte. Eh. Correct. Ito, finally, correct. Ito na talaga. Oh, ito na talaga. Akala ko. Uh, I would never win it anymore, hindi ba? Sometimes you mm-hmm. think about it. You've been nominated. I've been nominated uh, about maybe six times already. Then I got the highly commended award, and now on the uh, sixth uh, nomination, well, we finally won the best news and for hindi ba ito na? Sana pwede kung uh, isingit ito sa screen para ma makita mo rin, Jim. Correct. Oh. Mahawak mo rin. Mahawak mo rin. Mm-hmm. Pero yun nga po, nung the last time I covered yung Asian TV Awards, yung very last na dito yes. sa Philippines, ginala, ang bigat nga talaga ng trophy. Mm-hmm. So grabe mm-hmm. yung weight din talaga, mafe-feel mo na, yes, this is, ito yung recognition, yung parang hard work nyo, no, na napansin. And congratulations po, no. Pero for ano, the final word, ano po sa tingin niyo yung edge ng inyong CNN program? Kasi parang hindi naman ito yung first time din na nanalo kayo. Meron namang ibang awards talaga from different award giving bodies. So, ano po yung edge on the final word na, you know, it continues reaping awards? Well, it's a 45 minute uh, program uh, from Monday to Friday at 9 p.m. GMP. And we tried to put uh, as uh, as uh, many elements that we could no, within that 45 minutes. We have the top story, whether it be COVID, whether it be the upcoming elections. We have an interview with the newsmaker. And then in the next block, we have international news. How does uh, uh, developments in Europe, in uh, North America, in the United States, in terms of COVID, in terms of politics, in terms of economics, impact each and every Filipino? So we have international guests and we also have uh, correspondents from CNN International, from Hong Kong, from Washington DC, from London, who join us and tell us what is happening uh, in their respective areas and what kind of impact it has on the global field. And then after that, we have business and financial news. Alam mo naman, uh, ang naapekto ang ating ekonomiya, ang ating foreign exchange, ang ating peso against the US dollar, marami tayong mga OFWs who are overseas or here who also want to find out um, what is the impact of COVID on the economy? Nakita natin in 2019, kung magsak ang ating ekonomiya, nag-recover siya uh, nung 2021. And now, hopefully, with alert levels uh, down and uh, the, um, the number of cases uh, lower and uh, the government uh, reopening the economy, hopefully we can take off. And marami rin na wala na trabaho. So everybody wants to know what's happening in in, in in job creation and in the economy. Tapos, we have also sports, no? Um, alam mo naman, marami nangyayari rin sa sports, sa PBA, sa uh, women's football. For the first time, the Malditas, who are the Philippine uh, national team, women's national team, are now in the World Cup for the first time ever. Diba? Marami rin nangyayari sa sporting world, uh, particularly for us uh, Filipinos. Tapos, at the end, we usually... JP try to uh, uplift the spirits of the Filipinos. Alam mo, pagod na pagod na tayo sa over the past two years because of COVID-19. Yung mga lockdowns, hindi ba? Yung, yung mga restrictions, paggamit ng mask, yes. paggamit ng face shields. Beyond that, JP, there are a lot of inspirational stories. A lot of good news stories that we can talk about. So we try to have these interviews with various personalities, not talking about COVID, not talking about politics, but about what they do to give back to the community. So it is it is a, a well-rounded program. We try to put all the elements there so at least our our viewers uh, in the country and who are watching us on social media are uh, well informed of what's happening around them. So mm-hmm. it's always it's good to end 
on a good and uplifting note. Hindi negative. Okay. Hindi Kailangan good vibes tayo. Hindi lang tayo pwedeng bad vibes. <laughs> yes. So yun po talaga yung ano, the final word. Ano? Ang ganda. The final word. Yeah. Galing. And ang galing din po kasi 45 minutes lang. Kasi usually yung mga newscast natin talaga dito sa Philippines, usually one or two, one hour and 30 minutes. Diba? Pero ito na pagkasya na lahat yun in ano, 45 yeah. minutes. That's right, JNP. And it has to be snappy. Hindi ba? Hindi tayo pwede mag-drag out. We have so many elements on the final word and we want to make it snappy. Our interviews are only five to six minutes. We ask the tough questions. We want to inform our viewers, you know, and uh, CNN Philippines has been uh, voted uh, one of the trusted names uh, in uh, news gathering and in news information. That's why we're really proud of uh, what we have, what we deliver on CNN Philippines day in and day out. So, talagang uh, the whole team works very hard every day. The correspondents, the the cameramen, the producers, the writers, we all put our heads together to come up with a good product for our viewers every weeknight at 9 p.m. Correct. At sumasang ayo naman po ang Asia. Dahil ano, dalawang beses na from Asian TV Awards. Ay, de, from Asian Academy Creative Awards muna. Yes. Asian TV Awards. Diba? Yes, yes. Nanalo tayo the previous year sa Asian Academy um, Awards oh, for mm -hmm. best news program in the Philippines. Galing po. Kaya naman pa. Ilang years na po bang inyong program? Uh, well, uh, I came back to the Philippines uh, for good from Singapore uh, with BBC World News when I worked there for 18 years mm -hmm. in March of 2020. Alam mo, JMP, umuwi ako. Ayaw ko talaga umuwi. <laughs> Gusto ko talagang, I wanted to remain uh, in international broadcasting. But my father, when he was 90 years old, JMP, mm -hmm. uh, told me, kailang, Rico, kailang ka uuwi. You've been away already from the country for 23 years. Inihintay ka namin dito. Kailang ka uuwi. That was when, he's when he was 90. So my wife, uh, Melanie, and our son, kinano talaga namin na uh, on... Uh, in 19, uh, uh, that in 2020, uuwi na kami in March, right before his 92nd birthday. Mm -hmm. So, umuwi kami no March 10 kasi we have to prepare, hindi ba, for a party. Umuwi kami. Tapos, ano, after seven days, nagkaroon ng lockdown. His birthday was My on gosh. March 13. Oo. Umuwi kami o lahat-lahat hoping na, you know, that, um, I would start maybe with CNN Philippines mga April or May para makapagpahinga naman ako pero kaagad nag-lockdown and then two weeks later CNN Philippines asked me Rico can you already start uh, at the end of March lockdown you cannot travel you can go on vacation halika na so mga na sa amin I joined them at the end of March and mm -hmm. it has been a very fulfilling uh, and great ride with CNN Philippines I'm going now on my second year Yes, grabe ganun ka rin, ganun na rin po pala ka new, no? yung ano, journey nyo with ano, CNN Philippines. At saka, oh. sakto pa na ano, yung nag-lockdown, yung mahirap na panahon, yung parang who would have thought na makakapag-umpisa ng bagong job or ng bagong programa in the middle yes. of lockdown. Or hindi nga in the middle, sa kaumpisahan ng lockdown. Oo, oh, that's right. Oo. Oh, oh. So it was really a, a challenge, hindi ba? It was a challenge, even uh, CNN Philippines. I had to do the program from um, another site because uh, nagkaroon rin na mga, nagkaroon ng case dun sa building, sa Worldwide yes. Corporate Center. So na shut down yung main studios. So I had to do my first uh, CNN uh, Philippines program off-site sa ibang lugar. So of course, to avoid, you know, the uh, infection uh, mm -hmm. if I would go to the to the studio so it, it's been it's been a great uh, journey it's also been a challenge and uh, we've uh, we formally launched uh, the final word on may 20 2020 that was when it was uh, officially launched so mag to two years na yung final word um by may and of course i would also like to add no one other um factor or one other element that we add on the final word is that we end always on a uplifting quote from a famous 
um, writer, a famous personality. Ayan. Hindi ba? That is always related to, to our final story. So we always end on a quote. So the final word quote. And inaabangan yan. Marami nag-aabang ng final yes. word. Uh, para naman before the end of the show, they would feel good, they would feel uplifted, and feel good about you know what's happening in their lives okay. and what's happening around them. Mm-hmm. Ang ganda rin po ng pasok talaga ng ano, the final word, especially with that segment. Kasi yun nga, kay, yan ang kailangan talaga natin. And yung pagdating pala ng programa nyo, nasa kaumpisahan na or kalagit na ano, ng, ano, di ba, ng COVID, That's right. ng lockdown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, alam mo naman, ang mga tao ngayon, hindi ba, hindi masyado rin uh, nanonood ng balita. They always want bite-sized news, hindi ba? Hindi na yung mahabang interviews, mahabang mga storya. So, right, I mean, we have so many stories across the board on the final word. Para, hindi ba, we, alam mo, importante ngayon yung stickiness eh, yung viewership stickiness na, uy, ito yung storya, oh, yung storya, hindi ba? Everything is summarized for them. And uh, at least they have everything um, in 45 minutes, all the stories that they need to know uh, in 45 minutes. Sir Rico, ito po, paano po pasok? Um, kasi syempre, ano naman natin dito sa Philippines, ang landscape talaga ng TV, whether it's a news program or an entertainment program, grabe ang ano, network wars, di ba? ang competition between <laughs> content creators talaga. So paano po po pasok doon ang CNN? Well, CNN is a 24-hour news network. Uh, we're not competing with uh, any other network, hindi ba? We do our own. Uh, we, we have our news that you can use, news that you can trust, hindi ba? Uh, 24-7. We have the combined forces of not only CNN Philippines, but CNN International. We are an international brand, GMP, uh, hindi ba? Yes. So we also have to... Uh, stay at that level uh, of international uh, broadcasting quality. So we have to be fair, we have to be balanced, and we do not sensationalize the news. So we always have to um, always listen to both sides of the coin, listen always to both sides of the issue. So we will never be biased. We will always be fair in all the news Um, items uh, that we deliver to our viewers. And of course, we're a news network. Wala kaming entertainment. Wala kaming mga telenovela. Uh, hindi ba? Uh, so, we are just a 24-hour news network with news, uh, sports, uh, and feature stories. Mm-hmm. Yun nga po, kasi yung time slot nyo, di ba? Ang katapat niyan dun sa mga major TV network talaga na hindi news channels. Ay, yun nga, mga teleserye or ano. Yeah. So, minsan ba may factor po na ganun pagdating sa ratings? Kunyari, kinoconsider din ba yun ng inyong ano, network? Well, of course, we are always the alternative, hindi ba? We're the alternative to all of the teleseries. Kung uh, nasasawa na yung mga tao sa mga teleserye o sa lahat ng drama, uh, so they would always uh, switch to CNN uh, Philippines uh, mm-hmm. for for the news. And uh, what's important is that Um, we deliver credible news, fair and balanced to all our viewers. Yan ang pinaka-importante. Mm-hmm. Ito naman po about you po, no, Sir Rico, as a senior actor nga po of ano, CNN Philippines. Kamusta po ang ano, day-to-day operations? Pwede niyo po ba kami i-walk through doon sa nangyayari sa inyo every day? <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, this is the first time, Jim P., I have been given uh, a primetime evening news program. Uh, I've been in this uh, industry for the past, uh, from 1988. I'm now on my 34th year in uh, in broadcasting. I started out uh, right off after college uh, in 1998. And from ni- 1988 pala, 1988 until, until 2020, until my last show on uh, BBC World News, I was always doing the morning programs. Lahat for like 30, 30, 30 years. 32 years I was doing uh, the morning program. So ito ito uh, doing the evening program is um, really uh, new to me and uh, it's uh, a great opportunity uh, to do uh, the final newscast of CNN Philippines 
uh, every weeknight evening. So basically, uh, my schedule is, uh, alam mo naman, pag tumatanda tayo, uh, umi-XP ang uh, tulog natin, hindi ba? <laughs> so uh, I start my day, I wake up at about 6 o'clock, I do a little bit of exercise, and I already start reading the news. Um, online, hanggang ngayon, nagbabasa pa rin ako mga jaryo, broadsheets, tabloids, pinabasa ko yan from front, middle, and back. Kasi you really have to know what's happening in all aspects uh, of news, hindi ba? From the general news uh, to uh, the opinion pages, to feature news, to entertainment, mga chismis, at saka yung uh, sa entertainment, uh, sa sports. Marami nangyayari sa ating mundo. Health, yan. Health is also very important. Now that we have COVID-19, we have to know more about yung ating mga um, vaccines, yung boosters, yung mga antigen testing, RT-PCR. So a lot of things to learn. So I read starting at about 7.30, 8 o'clock, nagbabasa na ako. And I'm starting to also look for guests for the show, 12 hours. Mm-hmm. It, thir- 12, uh, thir- 12 to 13 hours before, nagharap na ako. Sino kayang pwedeng newsmaker? Sino bang pwedeng newsmaker guest natin? Sino bang pwedeng guest natin? So, I can continue to research. Tapos, yung aking team the day before will already give me a heads up. O Rico, ito yung uh, feature guest mo. Ito yung business guest mo. So, I start already to doing research. Um, I start to write my questions. I do research online. So, it's usually all day, uh, JMP, ang uh, trabaho ko. And then after that, we have editorial meetings uh, in the afternoon, deciding ano ba yung top story, ano yung ating second headline, third headline, tsaka sino ba ang pwede natin pang book na ibang guest. Because usually, uh, on the average, uh, JMP, in a 45-minute uh, final word program, we have about uh, mga three to four guests. Mm-hmm. So, lagi kami busy. You know, we're always on our toes. The whole team is always on their toes when we book guests on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. Ayun. So hanggang gabi na yon. tapos nagsusulat na kami, uh, prepping for interviews, tapos papasok na ako sa newsroom, ini-edit po lahat ng mga stories that uh, will run on the program. So, and then we go on, on air at 9 o'clock. Pagkatapos nun, natatapos na kami 9.45. I, I nagpo-post mortem kami ng, uh, ng news team. Ano bang, ano bang kulang? Ano ba bang kailangan? Diba? How can we improve? And then, we start already planning for the next day. Alam mo, JP, I've been in this industry, as I mentioned, for 34 years. Pero, you know, we are we work as a team. My my uh, my uh, colleagues are young. They're intelligent. They're vibrant with a lot of ideas. So, kailangan everybody listens to each other. Hindi ba? It doesn't mean if you're a veteran journalist, ikaw lang ang tama. Kailangan makinig tayo sa lahat ng ating mga uh, colleagues, producers, executive producers, writers, and correspondents for uh, different angles and source of information yes. on a daily basis. Nabasa po ano from my research na parang kayo din po ay director for news content development. So kasama mm-hmm. na rin po ba yung mga yes. ginagawa niya na yan with that? Yes, with kasama na rin yun. Di ba? I always make uh, suggestions on how we can improve uh, our programs. Marami rin kami mga, mga programs. Meron tayong uh, uh, New Day. Di ba? That's the morning show uh, at 6 o'clock. Tapos we have The Source uh, at 9 o'clock. Yes. And then you have Balitaan. And then you have Newsroom ngayon. Uh, and then you have uh, News Night. And then uh, News.ph. Tapos yung final word. So, I mean, uh, we're, we're stacked up with a lot of uh, uh, news. So we have to always provide the content who are the best guests uh, for, for each of these news programs and what would be the best stories uh, to run uh, for these news uh, new shows on a daily basis. So, important talaga yan. We have to constantly be on the move. We have, of course, what's important there is that we always have to double check and triple check our sources before we air yes. a kind of story. Mm-hmm. Grabe po. Grabe din kasi sobrang sensitive talaga po na ano yes, trabaho natin. Kailangan, kailangan, kailangan lagi ka mag-fact check, hindi ba? Yes. Fact check all the uh-huh. time two to three times, and you have to kailangan yung mga sources mo. Of course, hindi tayo pwede mag-unahan kasi hindi pa ngayon, ang dami ng fake news, ang dami ng mga misinformation. Kaya sinasabi ko sa mga tao, uh, kung merong uh, nagpapadal sa inyo ng mga balita, don't share it. 
hindi ba? Kailangan basahin mo na muna that it comes from a credible source like CNN Philippines, CNN International before you share, hindi ba? Kasi ang dami na eh, ang daming information out there. There's just so much content, especially now with social media exploding, with uh, Instagram, with Facebook, with TikTok, with Twitter. Masabi, may YouTube pa. Masabi nila, eh, bakit hindi ka sumali dyan sa mga so, ibang mga social media? Ba't hindi ka gumawa ng vlog? Well, of course, uh, first and foremost, uh, we are broadcast journalists and we always, um, we want to deliver the news that we can use and news that we can trust, which is the slogan of uh, uh, CNN Philippines. So, well, we always have to focus, di ba? We always have to focus on the type We cannot spread ourselves uh, too thin. Mm-hmm. Correct. Opo. So, grabe. Gan- At saka, paano mara naman na rin po kayo, ano? Masyadong time. Sobrang siksik na ng buong araw. Pagkagising nyo pa lang. Word Oo. Oh. Tapos, uh, we're also preparing, hindi ba, for mga presidential and vice presidential debates. Meron yes. tayo mga senatorial uh, forums. Meron tayo mga special programs on the economy and jobs. Meron rin tayo mga special programs on yung mga consumer prices, di ba? Like ikaw, pupunta ka sa grocery, malalaman mo na, GMP, uh, ang, dif- ang price difference, let's say one week ago to, to this week, ang presyo okay. ng tarong, ang presyo ng, uh, ng luncheon meat, di ba? Every week kasi tumataas ang presyo ng gasolina. So, pag umakit ang presyo ng gasolina, connected dyan rin yung mga presyo ng mga consumer goods. So, lahat, Naa-apek, okay. di ba? You look at your wallet. Pwede bang ipagkasya ito sa aking grocery uh, for this week, hindi ba? Everyone is affected. Hindi lang um, general news. Uh, kailangan natin, we really have to get into the economics of things, di ba? The law of supply and demand. At saka kung uh, may budget tayo sa ating mga uh, weekly um, grocery needs. Correct. Opo, grabe nga. As in, ang dami pong ano din, nagbago nitong pandemic. Yung parang mas naging ano, kailangan nagkaroon, magkaroon tayo ng pakialam sa lahat ng bagay talaga. That's true. Oo. Kailangan may pakialam tayo, hindi ba? Mm-hmm. And now, hindi ba? The digital platform has exploded. Eh, kung wala itong uh, pandemia, uh, JMP, hindi tayo mag-uusap dito via uh, StreamYard. Mag-uusap tayo Correct. sa studio. Correct. <laughs> hindi ba? Yes. You'll be talking uh, personally. Pero ngayon, of course, uh, with this pandemic, it has really um, revolutionized uh, the uh, digital um, the digital space. Kaya marami ngayon ang gumagamit ng social media to promote themselves and as a platform for for interviews. So, yun nabanggit nyo kanina, no? merong ano na, magkakaroon ng presidential. Ito na yung inaabangan natin talaga this year, yung presidential and ano, vice presidential debate. And yun nga, parang napag-usapan na yun, ano, di ba, sa social media na si Pinky Web ata yung sumagot na pinaprepare na raw. Kung maga, kasi parang hinanap na meron na si GMA, meron na si ABS, o si CNN na yung next. So, yun nga po, ano ang dapat naming abangan or ano po ang mga pinaplanan nyo for this? Oh, well, uh, the big uh, presidential forum is this coming Friday, uh, mm-hmm. February 4th, no? It is uh, a presidential forum organized by the kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas. So nagsanib pwersa lahat ang mga TV and radio stations, CNN Philippines, uh, TV5, uh, ABS-CBN, and all the radio stations. So this will be simulcast nationwide, no? not only on TV, radio, but also on all social media platforms. And this will be uh, moderated by uh, myself, yours truly, mm-hmm. at saka si uh, Karen Davila. Tapos we have uh, four panelists no, from different radio and uh, television networks that will also be asking questions to our uh, presidential aspirants. So yon, that is the big, the, the, the near-term biggest uh, event that's going to happen where we can uh, listen and hear Uh, the platforms of our uh, presidential balls. Tapos, uh, towards the end of uh, uh, February, uh, magkakaroon ng uh, vice presidential and presidential debates ang uh, CNN Philippines. Mm-hmm. So those are the, basically the near-term um, plans of, uh, uh, of these forums and debates that will be taking place para ma- maririnig ng taong bayan, hindi ba, kung sino yung karapat-dapat na kailangan nilang iboto sa darating na halalan sa May 9th. 
di ba? So, yes. I think it's really important that everybody, all the 65, 66 million kababayans, whether it be here or overseas, talagang kailangan sila, they really have to vote and they have to make their vote count. Di ba? Because yes. it's a, this is a very critical uh, election uh, for, uh, for many, if not for all Filipinos, not only here in the country, but all over the world. Mm-hmm. Correct. Opo, no? Mas double ba po ba yung ano? Hindi naman pressure, pero syempre yung, kumbaga yung workload, then yung effort talaga na ma-deliver ng tama lahat ng mangyayari sa ano, elections this time para sa inyo, sir. Yes, yes. I think uh, it's important that uh, um, we get the right information and no one is uh, misled. Hindi ba? People right now, when we uh, look at social media, ang daming misinformation, mga binabaluktot na mga quotes, hindi ba? Yeah. Tapos, uh, tapos yung itong mga presidential aspirants, they'll have to come out and say, oh, hindi ko naman sinabi yon, Hindi ba? So, of course, marami rin ngayon mga troll farms, hindi ba? Maraming nagko-comment on social media. Uh, like, baka itong interview natin, pag na-ere na sa pep.ph, baka wala magko-comment. <laughs> so, yeah, Mm-hmm. So yun, hindi ba? Maraming nagko-comment, maraming trolls. Everyone has their opinion on certain issues. And everyone has their opinion now on uh, on each of the presidential candidates, whether it be uh, for or against. So tayong mga social media users, we have to really know to decipher what is the correct news and what is the wrong news and what is what is what is the right news, right? And not the and not the fake news. So, we really have to be very discerning, Jim P. We have to be totally yes. discerning. I'm sure even in your job, in ba pag naglabas yes. ng mga na mga balita about uh, celebrities or entertainers, maraming comments. Akikita ko nga eh, iba't iba mga comments, hindi ba? Tapos oh, marami pang additional information that they that, that they'll share with you about uh, what they know about certain uh, personalities. Mm-hmm. Correct. Grabe po, ano, sobrang ano na, in a way, kasi empowered na ang mga tao ngayon, kasi nga, in just one click, they can share their, oh, ano, own oh, opinion. That's true. And then they, and then once it's uh, an intriguing answer, hindi ba? Sinishare lagi, hindi ba? Marami nagko-comment. Tapos, Correct. babasahin mo, oh, saan galing ba itong, what's the root of this, of this, yes. all of this, of this thread? Di ba? Babasahin oh, mo. Wow. It's shared over, it's not hundreds, thousands of times. So yon. I mean, now people say that, oh, I'm, I'm popular. Not popular on TV, but popular on social media. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> popular, I know, isang... I'm a TikTok Correct. superstar. I'm an Instagram superstar. <laughs> diba? Uh, ganun na ngayon eh. <laughs> yes. Opo. Grabe din. Ano na. Sobrang iba na po. Ano. Pero kayo, sir, paano... Kayo din po nag-adapt. Kasi ang tagal nyo na po sa ano eh, industry. So, syempre, sobrang dami na nangyaring pagbabago sa technology, the way din ng pag-deliver ng news. So, kayo po, parang, kamusta yung continuous learning and yung pag-adapt po sa lahat ng nangyayaring bago? Oh, of course, when I started way back in 1998, ang ginagamit pa namin ni sa uh, typewriter, Remington, Smith Corona. Typing, you know? Tapos yung, uh, I remember when I was doing business today with um, Attorney Dong Puno and uh, Vicky Morales. We were the original hosts of Business Today on GMA uh, News. Grabe, yung aming uh, teleprompter, Manila paper. Manila paper. Manila paper, sinusulat with a pencil pen, with a marker, tapos iniikot-ikot sa isang wooden scroll. Ayan, doon yeah. <laughs> kami nag-umpisa, di ba? Kami ni Vicky, ni Attorney Dong Puno, and myself on Business Today. So, I mean, you've seen the evolution. And then, of course, dati naman, when I was also doing GMA News Live, ang ginagamit namin was a teleprompter. Um, anong tawag nito? Uh, remote control. Tapos pinapasok namin yung papel doon sa prompter. Tapos umiikot siya para um- umakit doon sa, yeah. sa kamera. <laughs> tapos there was a time, there were a couple of times, JMP ginagawa ko yung GMA News Live. Yung papel, yung bond paper, hindi ko na, na isuot ng tama. In front of me, kumulubot. <laughs> Nasira yung papel. Oh my! So, kumulubot yung papel, eh di mag a ka na lang, hindi ba? So, in this business, hindi ka lang pwedeng maging newsreader. You have to understand 
the news. Di ba? You have to understand it inside out. So kung magkakaroon ng problema sa teleprompter or mag, hindi ba ngayon, everything is based on technology, pwede kang magsalita. You can talk about it even without a teleprompter. You can yes. you can just um, do it ad lib. Yon. So of course, and then from there, ngayon, di ba, you can just be a news anchor. You have to do other things as well. Uh, I mean, online, the digital platform, kasi ngayon, meron ka ng mga meron ka ng mga websites, hindi ba, meron ka ng mga social media, you have to be um, you have to have the exposure, kumbaga. Mm -hmm. You have to have the exposure because of course, you also have to promote your program and you also have to promote uh, yourself on the social media platforms. Hindi lang pwede lang sa TV. Yung mga promos, hindi ka naman pwede mag, uh, mag-rely doon. So you yeah. have to be multi-platform. Yeah, multi-platform na ngayon. So I mean, uh, I'm, I'm 55. So you know, I have to constantly learn. I always ask questions. Alam mo, I'm, I'm tech-averse. Paano ba natin pwedeng gawin ito? How can we improve on this? So tinuturo na ako ng mga mga younger uh, editors and producers sa news network on how I can, you know, keep up and adjust to the changing times of uh, the digital age. Correct. Pero parang ano naman po, pasok na pasok naman, sir. So, wala naman masyado, ano, problem yata sa inyo. Parang <laughs> ano naman din. Kasi But alam mo, is, uh, campaign is a learning experience. I have 55 mm -hmm. years old, uh, turning 56 this coming March. Parang mm -hmm. nagka-college pa ako eh, para rin magma-masters ako, hindi ba? Kasi, if you say, alam ko na lahat, then that is it. That's, That's the end of your learning process. Now, that means it has already gotten into you. Yung pagka-news anchor mo, yung status mo. When you say, ah, hindi ko na, hindi ko, hindi ko na kailangan malaman yan. Then that's, a, that's the end of your learning. Pero ako, I always see going day in and day out, doing this interview, talking to my colleagues. It's always a learning process. I learn something new every day. Parang mapasok pa rin ako sa eskwelahan. Mm -hmm. Galing po, no? Diyos ko. Grabe. At nakakatuwa. Very, ano, inspiring din po sa lahat na syempre yung mga, kahit hindi as new supporter, pero yung mga gustong makakuha ng goal, makuha yung goals nila, di ba? That's true. Oo. Oh, continue oh. learning talaga. That's right. Ang goals for 2022 and beyond, hindi ba? Continue yes. the learning process. It never ends. Mm -hmm. Kahit na uh, gaano katanda ka na, hindi ba? And always yes. keep your feet on the ground. Always keep your feet on the ground, despite all of these, um, all of these achievements and accolades. You know, these are all just temporary. You know, these are all just temporary. You have to keep on churning, uh, balanced, fair, and credible news day in and day out. It never ends. Ayun po, sir. Ito hit kasi to sa amin na no na yung kasi hindi naman na iwasan. Sure, minsan may mga funny na mga yar. Iko niya sa newsroom. Katulad niya po kanina na na isa sa mga nakuwento niya noong GMA days. Yung pero meron po ba kayong hindi mahakalimutan siguro na blooper na nangyari sa inyo sa entire career niyo so far habang nag habang nasa work, habang nasa newsroom? Alam mo, uh, my career kasi spans from GMA News. Pagkatapos ng GMA News, that was from 1990, 1988 to 1995, Sumali ako sa CNBC Business News. That's where I work in Hong Kong. No? CNBC is uh, owned by NBC News of the United States and it's a business news network. So lahat dyan, business and financial news, stock market, foreign exchange, commodities, etc. So meron akong isang guest, isang blooper. Tinanong ko siya, so what do you think of the South Korean market? Is, it, uh, is there a possibility? Because it has been oversold over the last few days. Will it go up? Tapos yung guest ko, Rico, are we on air? Are we live? So talagang yung blooper niya, no? Nagtanong siya sa akin, are we really live? Sabi ko, yes, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Kim, we are live. Tapos bumalik siya sa akin, are you really, really sure we're live? No, you're joking me. We're not yet live. We're in a commercial break. So, yun, those are one of the things na it has also been used by a lot of PR agencies, uh, particularly <laughs> the mga international PR agencies, of what not to do, hindi ba? When you are, when you go, or uh, when you do a live interview, in people mm -hmm. you always have to be ready. Um, you have to always be ready and attentive uh, when the news anchor starts to ask you questions. Ginamit ito na mga marami mga PR agencies, especially when they do media training, di ba? 
for their uh, mm, executives. Yeah. So, so oh mga, well, mga bloopers, uh, well, on air, minsan nahuhulog yung mic, hindi ba? Nahuhulog yung, yung, uh, yung papel, or there are times na, kasi I love to sing eh, Dar- dumarating na yung commercial break, kumakanta pa rin ako, oh! <laughs> di ba? Kasi mm-hmm. ako, I love to sing, pero yun na nga, hindi, na, hindi ako naging pop superstar. Sayang, hanggang news na lang ako. Pero, <laughs> <laughs> kasi alam ko, pag kumakanta ka, you'll be more popular, di ba? Ang, pa- ang mga popular ngayon, yung mga singers, hindi ba? Mga mga singers, yes. kagaya ni Martin, ni Gary, ni Morissette, ni Sarah Geronimo, Yes. Yan. Si uh, Gary V. Si Gary V. We come from the same school. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, si Ding Dong, si Ogi. Ayan. So, sabi ko, naku, kakanta na lang ako kasi kung kakanta ako, mas magiging popular ako. Yung news anchor, hindi magiging masyadong popular. <laughs> Pag nasa showbiz ka, mas popular, Jim <laughs> mm-hmm. Pero at, ito po siguro ang naging ano nyo talaga, calling. Yes. This is this is really uh, I feel my calling kasi alam mo gusto um gusto ko talaga maging sportscaster, maging sports announcer mm-hmm. kagaya ni Kinito Henson, di ba? Or ni Joe Cantada. Well, alam mo naman yung age ko, yung 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 generation <laughs> na yun, di ba? Yung mga si Andy Howe. Pero very competitive. Yung hirap pumasok at mag uh, maging sportscaster sa mga PBA games or sa Southeast Asian games. So mabuti naman, ang kinuha ko sa university was uh, MassCom, yun talaga yung love ko, to be a uh, communicator, at saka business management. So sinabi ng daddy ko, ito walang pera dyan sa business, uh, sa, sa, sa journalism, walang pera dyan. Ito, kumuha ka ng uh, business management, marketing. Uh, kung hindi ka magsasucceed sa journalism, hindi pa meron kang fallback. So, I mean, thank goodness na kinuha ko yung double degree na yun because um, ang nangyari, Ang hirap maging general uh, news uh, reporter, hindi ba? So, pinagin mm-hmm. sa akin yung business news. So, doon talaga nag-umpisa yung aking career with business and financial news. Kasi walang gustong gumawa ng business and financial news. Eh, para sa kanya, inakamot nila yung unila. Ano bang anong ibig sabihin ng stock market na yan? Yung uh, foreign exchange, peso dollar, mm-hmm. yun ang nagtitihan. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng... IPO or initial public offering stock stock rights mga cryptocurrency walang gustong gum- walang gustong gumawa so I, at least i found my niche and that's why kinuha yeah. ko ng CNBC Business News worked there for 7 years in Hong Kong and in Singapore at tapos ng BBC World News for 18 years Singapore and London so it was really a uh, dream come true to be an international uh, news anchor yes ang galing nga po no best of both worlds talaga yung napagsama yung double degree ninyo. So, yes. gamit na gamit. Oh. oh, gamit na gamit. Oh, gamit na gamit. <laughs> so, when it comes to anything that's business uh, interviews, ako yung gumagawa. That's why I have my own uh, business news program, a weekly business news program, which is called The Exchange, where your business is our business, ang slogan yan. So, that's uh, aired on Fridays at 8 in the evening, tapos it's repeated on weekends, uh, on Saturdays and Sundays. So, business. When it comes to business, Si Rico Hiso nang kailangan mong kausapin. Yes. <laughs> Sir, pag ganun din, live din yun. Yes. Uh, it, no, it uh, exchanged kasi because of the um, of the schedules, we pre-record it. Pero it's taped mm-hmm. as live. It's a 30-minute mm-hmm. program, pero it's taped as live. Mm-hmm. Kasi, so, alam mo, uh, JMP, ayaw ko na mag, mag-edit uh, ang aking ang, ang, ang crew, ang team. So we put everything within time limits. Okay. Mm-hmm. Seven minutes, eight minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, three minutes, two minutes. Tapos after that, irarap na. So no edit talaga. Tape as live siya para ready na for airing at 8 in the evening. Okay, so. mm-hmm. Salang lang. Okay na. Salang lang. That's right. Oh, you know, I haven't uh, come across that word in a long time. I like that word. <laughs> salang. Oh, kasi nung, nung nasa G- GMA ako, oh, salang yun na yung, bet, yung, yung tape. Hindi ba? Isalang mo na ito. Yes. Opo, wala naman ganun sa ano, CNBC at sa ano, BBC. Wala, yun, wala. Na yun. Mm. Oo. <laughs> Pero yun po, syempre your work experience po internationally, no? such an honor talaga na kayo po, syempre a Filipino journalist talagang, you know, nakarating ng 
sobrang laki as in international, di ba? Pero, kamusta po working with, ano, with CNBC Asia and BBC? How does it feel it was, being a Filipino po going there? Wow, it was really a great experience. Alam mo, working for these two internationally renowned networks, it's like the United Nations of uh, broadcasting. You work with Japanese, Brits, Americans, mm -hmm. Canadians, Koreans, lahat na, nandyan na. And of course, you learn from them and they learn from you. Kasi, alam mo, when I was at GMA News, before I joined um, uh, CNBC way back in 1995, nasalang lahat ako sa lahat ng mga departamento ng news. Naging news driver ako. Naging mm -hmm. driver ako. Naging uh, production assistant. Marunong akong magtimpla ng kape. Ha? With or without sugar. If you want it black or if you want it white. Inuutos ako. Eh, you know what? I, I, um, when I joined news... I wanted to do, I wanted to learn everything. Printing scripts, writing news, uh, editing, editing uh, news material. So I learned basically uh, everything across the board. So I did not say, oh, ayaw kong gawin yun. Ayaw kong gawin ito. I, if they told, inutos ako, pupunta sa 7-Eleven para bumili ng pagkain, bibiling ko. Hindi ba? Kasi we work as one team eh. Kung gutom yung anchor or kung gutom yung correspondent o yung writer, bakit hindi magagawa yung trabaho niya, hindi ba? It's all interconnected. Our work is all yes. interconnected. So, nag-edit ako, Rico, isala mo na ito dun sa, dun, sa, dun sa gallery or sa control room. Oh, isala mo na itong tape, di ba? O gawin mo na ito, tawagan mo itong guest. That's, it's all, that's why I learned all aspects of production, JMP. And that was the experience that I brought with me to CNBC. Pero when I was at CNBC, ang role ko lang is news anchor. News anchor and writer. Ayun. But mm -hmm. I would always offer, oh, I can do this, I can do that. So, uh, pag short yung team na say, sa editing room, o short yung team sa, sa research and sa production, tumutulong ako. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's what they really uh, appreciated about, you know, my, uh, my, my job. Hindi lang within the job description of a news anchor and writer, but I also help them in many other aspects, just like with the BBC World News. Alam mo, it's, it's tough competition. I mean, here in the Philippines, it's tough competition in the networks. Not only a handful of people, you can count them with your fingers, can be news anchors. And what more kung on the global stage, CNBC and BBC World News, everybody wants... To be where you are. So it's very competitive. Mm -hmm. So one slip up, pwede kang palitan. Hindi ba? Um, yeah. For me, no one is uh, dispensable. Everyone is indispensable. Hindi ba? Everyone is indispensable. If you don't do your job right, uh, pwede kang tanggalin. Especially for these networks that uh, are very competitive on the, on the global stage. CNBC, BBC, World News. Everybody knows these two networks. And yes. I'm honored and privileged to have worked, you know, with uh, the men and women of CNBC and BBC World News for 25 years. Diba? 25 years. Matagal. Mas matagal po doon kesa sa ano, mismo working Correct. ano nyo talaga in the Philippines. Oh, it means. Oh, kasi mm -hmm. um, they were asking me, Rico, when I was invited, sinabi ko, well, uh, kung babalik ako, if I stay here, then you never know where it will take me. I mean, a lot of my contemporaries are uh, si Julius Babao, si uh, uh, Arnold Clavio, si Karen Davila, si Cesc Delon. I mean, they're superstars. Si Bernadette Sembrano, they're all superstars in their own right, di ba? They're very, uh, they're excellent journalists. So if I stayed here, I would have stayed in the local broadcasting industry, but I wanted to be a trailblazer, uh, GMP. I, I said, baka I, can, I could do something different for Filipino broadcast journalism. That's why I joined CNBC. Tapos, yes. CBC World News, seen in 500 million uh, households worldwide. That was really a major, um, a major feat for me. And that's for 18 years. Ang mga kasa wala ako, uh, up, up until my 18th year, uh, JMP, I was the only Filipino news anchor. Lata mga news anchors were Indian, uh, Japanese, Singaporean, uh, Kiwi from New Zealand, Australian, Canadian, lahat. Pupunta ako sa, sa London. I would anchor uh, twice or thrice a year for two to three weeks. And wala. Ako lang ang Pinay doon. So it was great. 
At tapos yeah. lagi ako nagdadala ng uh, ng uh, dried mangoes yon, tsaka mga mm-hmm. from the Philippines. So, gustong-gusto nila yun. They would say, Rico's coming with the dried mangoes! <laughs> <laughs> ang saya po. At least po, no, ganun ang ano, maganda naman din yung ano, camaraderie. Kasi, syempre, yun nga, iba-iba kayong parang ano din eh, lahi po, di ba? Yes. Kasi hindi naman kayo pare-pareho. Pero wala naman pong parang feeling of ano din, especially yun na nagsistart kayo. Parang wala naman mga nagdi-discriminate, ganyan. Hindi naman po kayo naka-feel ng gano'n. Wala naman. I, I'm, I'm so lucky na walang discrimination because from the very first day I joined them, I, yung, yung aking aura, hindi ba, hindi, uh, was that we're all equals here. Hindi ba? Yeah. I am not Filipino. You're Australian, you're Brit, you're Canadian. No. We are all equals. We're all news anchors here. And we all have the same knowledge. We all have the same talent that we can provide that we're, our uh, news networks. So, yeah. wala. Thank goodness. And of course, from the onset, pagdating ko and I meet them, smile ka agad, di ba? Yes. Smile. Hindi yung tipong, hey, I'm Rico Hizon. I came from uh, CNBC. Hindi yun know, Or I came from this network. Talagang, hi, hello, how are you? Ayan, di ba? Kagaya na, kagaya mo, JP. Friendly. Friendly yung, yung dating mo. Good vibes. Good vibes lang. And always very positive in your conversations. At saka, kung may problema sila, nakikinig ka lang. You always lend them uh, mm-hmm. your ear, di ba? You always listen to them kung may mga problema nila. Kaya ako, uh, yeah, I, was, I got along with uh, all of my colleagues from CNBC and BBC World News. Correct. No, sila. Yung nabanggit nyo nga kasi kanina po, no, na talagang ano, no one is ano, indispensable, or yes. ang mga ba yung kot? Yes, ganun, yes. diba? So, ibig sabihin, meron din pong constant ano talaga, na kailangan ma-prove nyo talaga na parang deserve yung post or something like that. Regardless of the parang lahi or pagkakaiba-iba ninyo. Yung, yung parang chip on your shoulder, wala eh. Parang wala. I didn't have any parang chip on my shoulder that I have to prove something. No, because... Mm-hmm. Um, I work hard every day. Eh. I work hard yeah, every day. Yeah. Just like you and me, uh, you and the other anchors, we all work hard every day. And in the end, it will, it will, uh, it will manifest itself, no, on the screen, and mm-hmm. with, uh, with research, uh, with surveys, with ratings. In the end, eh, kasi malalaman niyo na tao. I mean, nakakaroon niya sila na mga how would you call this? Mga focus groups, lagi yan. Mm-hmm. Focus groups. Hindi ba dito sa Pilipinas, nung umuwi ako, nako, ratings pala. Hindi ba? Ratings lahat. It's all about ratings. Uh-huh. In uh, CNBC and in BBC, it's all about focus groups because they want to find out what do you think of this anchor? What do you think of his show or her show? Mm-hmm. Tapos pinag-uusapan nila. Tapos pinag-uusapan nila with the production team and with the news anchors or this is what this focus group said. So, they constantly uh, talk to us and, well, thank goodness, to God be the glory, I mean, we were blessed that we were just ourselves on air. Hindi ba? You just have to be yourself eh. No accent whatsoever. No? You don't try to be, have the British accent or the, or the, um, or the uh, uh, American accent. Alam mo, uh, JMP, I was accepted into the newsrooms of BBC, which is the British Broadcasting Corporation, with this accent. When they hired me, I said, are you sure? Listen to me. Listen to me. Meron ba akong British accent? Did I, do I have a British accent? He said, no. What we like about your diction, pronunciation, and your delivery is that it is, how would you call this? It's neutral. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not, you don't have the British accent or Australian accent or this accent. It's neutral. Tapos binigyan pa yung, ba yung aking accent uh, a name. They said, Rico, your accent is Pan-Asian. It cuts across mm-hmm. all, all cultures, you know, all, la- uh, all English accents. It's neutral. Yeah. So I said, wow, that's great to know. Pan-Asian accent. Mm-hmm. So, oh, so I don't try to be somebody else. Mm-hmm. I don't try to be somebody else. I'm just myself. Matawa ko on air. I joke with the guests. Uh, if need be, regarding uh, interviews, 
So ganun lang, just be yourself on air. Don't try to be serious and too, too credible. Because malalaman niya ng viewers. Malalaman niya ng viewers, uh, JP. They will know if you're authentic uh, on air. Yes. Malalaman nila yon. If you're fake. <laughs> or if you're trying to put up a front. Or you're trying okay. to be someone that you are not. Ang ganda po ng ano din, no? ibig sabihin ganun kaganda yung working relationship niyo po talaga. So, kamusta nung when you had to say goodbye to BBC kasi nga po, you, ha- you have to... It was, sad. It, was sad. it was sad because I had to tell them about leaving the BBC. They want they asked me if I wanted to stay. But I said my father was uh, calling me. Of course, nine, pag 90 years old ka na, hindi mo na alam. Hindi ba? Kung anong mangyayari sa health niya. So, I said, uh, sabi niya, Rico, it's been 25 years. Every five years, tinatanong niya ako, Rico, kailan ka uwi? No? So, mm-hmm. there have always been offers from the networks for me to come home. Pero of course, I was not ready. Um, so, when I felt that it was time after 25 years, a quarter of a century overseas. So, napag-usapan namin ng misis ko and, uh, and my son. So, very understanding naman sila and uh, we knew that it was uh, time to go home. Sakto din naman po na ano, CNN Sakto. din. Kasi yun nga, kung in the past, net, yung mga networks po may offers sa inyo. So this time, nasaktuhan po na CNN or was it really parang yun yung inayin nyo rin talaga na when you come back here, yun ang magiging network ninyo? Yeah, because uh, they were, uh, I mean, a lot of the networks were talking to me uh, months ahead, no? Because uh, I'm, uh, I you know, JP, I, my motto is I eat, breathe, and live news hindi ako pwede magbakasyon ng matagal. So, when uh, a lot of these, uh, when these networks found out I was coming home, they started talking to me. And, um, you know, I was, uh, CNN offered, uh, I believe, the best opportunity in terms of the newsroom, in terms of uh, the team, uh, the mm-hmm. colleagues. Of course, I also researched kung sino ang makakatrabaho ko, hindi pa. That's very important. And I felt that I could fit in the culture of uh, CNN Philippines. Seamless, seamless transition from uh, from CNBC to BBC and then to um, to CNN Philippines. Mm-hmm. And I have, I have great colleagues. Wala akong masabi. Two years na ako, mag two years na ako and it has been um, a wonderful journey so far with CNN Philippines. In all fairness naman din po kasi pwede naman po magkasalubong-salubong din talaga lahat from other networks. Kasi like kunyari, yun nga po yung sa Friday na presidential forum, di ba? Lahat magkakasama na doon. Oo. So, oh, oh. naman... Yes, yes, that's right. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's quite exciting uh, to to be uh, to be chosen by the KDP uh, to to moderate this uh, this very big uh, presidential forum. And I am truly honored. Even though I've only been back for less than two years, um, they um, they invited me to be one of two moderators. So I'm looking, re- I'm really looking forward to it. Ito na lang po, who is Rico Hizon to his family and friends? Yung hindi newscaster <laughs> na Rico Hizon. Yun ang gusto naman namin makilala. Ah, ako? Ano ko? I love to, I love to watch movies both uh, Tagalog and English. Mm-hmm. I love to watch teleseries, JP. I love to watch teleseries. Mm-hmm. Ever since I was a little boy, uh, nanonood na ako ng Flo de Luna, uh, Gulong ng Palad, Annalisa. Tapos pinapanood ko rin yung mga teleseries sa ibang mga networks. Uh, yung mga maging sino ka man. I'm, Ay, a big yes. of, uh, I'm a big fan of John Lloyd and Bea Alonso. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Cian Lim and uh, Kim Chu. So I'm mm-hmm. uh, I'm a big fan of theirs, and also Liza Soberano and uh, Enrique Hill. I, I love their teleseries. Eh, you know what? I also like to watch a lot of. Not many people know. I love to watch a lot of uh, mga romantic films. Yeah, mga mm-hmm. chick flicks, <laughs> as wow. they say. You mga very light. Yung hindi mabigat. Ayoko ng horror. Ayoko ng patayan. Eh, kasi Every day, zombie. Na balita, hindi ba? Tapos manunod ka pa ng horror eh. Tama ka ng friends. Oo. Mm-hmm. So parang so, ito po yung escape nyo. Yan ang parang escape ko. I just sit down and watch a lot of these light comedies. Romantic comedies. Yan ang gusto ko. So, misis ko, Melanie, anak ko, si Migo, lumalabas kami. We eat, uh, we eat out. 
uh, we spend time together, nagbabahan kaming tatlo, nanonood, minsan ng, nanonood kami ng sine, well, before the pandemic, tapos we walk, uh, uh, umiikot-ikot lang kami. Yun lang, simple lang, simple lang ang buhay. And I'm a big sports fan. So, mm-hmm. gagaling ko ng states, nanonood kami ng, uh, ng misis ko, tsaka anak ko, ng Golden State Warriors sa San Francisco, nanonood rin ako ng hockey. That's what a lot of people also do not know. I love I love sports, sobra. Um, marami akong alam na uh, mga statistics, mga data, which I just share with myself or talk with, discuss with other people na makakaintindi nun. And I also love toys. I love toys. I am a, I'm a collector of toys. <laughs> Baka, unang yung aking childhood. Pero yun, <laughs> lahat. Kasi I was young in the family. Mm-hmm. So lahat me down. So ngayon, I love toys. Yun ang kinokollect ko. A lot of toys. Correct. Ang saya naman po. At least po, no, talagang, there's life outside work para po. Yeah. Sa there's life outside work. Talaga, talaga. Oh, light lang naman. And I'm a homebody also eh. Minsan ayaw ko nung uh, lumabas kasi, di ba, um, stretch ka na during the week. So you just want to stay home. And then, of course, palabas-labas. My son is a basketball player. Naglaro kami ng basketball. Mm-hmm. So, yan, yan ang aking uh, exercise, walking, running uh, the, around, the, around the area. Ano po ang huling Tagalog film or teleserye na inyong napanood? Ah, ano ba itong uh, sa GMA? Yung uh, Lady? Ngayon, first. Hindi, magkakaroon first, ng ah, sequel. Yes. First Lady. Ano yung uh, dati? First Yaya. First Yaya. Yan. Mm-hmm. With Sanya <laughs> and Gabi. Oh, si Gabi at si Sanya. Yes. Uh, pinapanood ko yan sa newsroom. Yeah, mga kasama ko, kinikulig. I said, oh, maganda talaga yung chemistry ni Gabi. Ni Gabi and, uh, and Sanya. And of course, mm-hmm. of course, going back to the days of the 80s, big fan rin kami ng uh, Gabi Sharon. Hindi ba? <laughs> Gabi and Sharon. <laughs> Oo. Yung mga, yung mga love teams na yon. Uh, mm. the last uh, teleserye of course before that um, yun yung mga teleserye nung sinabi ko mga love teams yes, I would lagi kong pinapanood kahit yung kay uh, Anadine Lustre at saka kay uh, mm-hmm. James On the Wings of Love <laughs> oh my gosh kaya rin po pala ay na ano naging author well, is author eh, is ngayon na, nasa Netflix na hindi ba nasa yeah, Netflix okay. na. tapos sa Netflix pa may Dodge Amore hindi ba so pinapanood ko rin yun <laughs> Galing. At least po talaga sobrang ano, well-grounded. Tsaka talagang lahat ng ano, meron kayong ano, Sir Rico. Talaga na oh, legit. Na mo, ah, ganda-ganda na scene na yun eh. <laughs> Galing. <laughs> Nakakatawa. At least po, no, nakilala din namin ko yung outside from the ano, yung the usual na napapanood namin syempre. Pero more than anything, congratulations po, Sir Rico. No? Kasi thank you, na- thank you for having me. It's such an honor. I never ever in my wildest dreams thought that I would be on pep.ph. <laughs> Naku naman po, salamat din po, syempre po, ng Asian TV Awards, Best News Anchor. And with that, Sir Rico, baka meron kayong ano. Hindi ko na makarga. Yes. Pero thank you, thank you, thank you. To God be the glory. This is all because of God and because of uh, the team of CNN Philippines. Wala nang iba. Correct. Sir, baka meron kayong ano, final word for our <laughs> Final word. Well, uh, we should always pray. We should always lift everything uh, to God. We always have to be united as one family. Wag tayo mag-away-away. Always be positive. Laging good vibes. I mean, you know, uh, life is short. Uh, uh, mga kababayan, JMP, life is short. So we have to always uh, be positive in everything that we do. We always have to give back to our uh, kababayans like in, in any way, whether it be big or small. We always have uh, to give back. Let's not be selfish. We always have to share our heart, our soul uh, with our kababayans and in everything that we do. Uh, that is the most important thing. And we always have to stay safe, stay healthy, because right now, this pandemic is still out there. And if you're not feeling well, just stay home. Stay away from uh, other people because you can infect them. So it's really important that we always keep our uh, feet on the ground. Keep your life simple. 
No, that's uh, for me one of uh, the most important things and the lessons that has been taught to me by my mother, uh, my my late mother and my father. Always keep yourself on the ground. Uh, everyone is indispensable and do um, well and do your best day in and day out. So God bless you all. Maraming maraming salamat po for this opportunity to uh, speak to all of you. Thank you rin po, Sir Rico. In case po, ano, gusto nyo na maka, ano ng update sa inyo and sa Final Word and all your other shows, saan po kayo pwedeng i-follow? Sa ah, po? okay. O nga, no, lagi kong na nakakalimutan ang aking, uh, ang aking mga social media accounts. Well, uh, I'm on uh, Instagram, uh, Rico Hison. I'm also on Twitter, uh, Rico Hison. And I'm on, uh, I have a Facebook page, also Rico Hison. Alam mo, I'm not also, I don't, I'm not really very active eh, on uh, social media. Minsan nga eh, hindi ba? You have to post and post and post. Alam mo, that's one thing I don't also do, uh, JMP, yung, yung lagi kong pinapost yung ginagawa ko day in and day out. So, <laughs> meron rin kailangan mga private times, hindi ba? That, yes. you can't, that, you, that you shouldn't also be sharing with everybody. I hope you follow me. Kukunti lang ang aking mga followers. So I hope you can follow me. <laughs> yeah, ako. Thank you so much, Sir Rico. Salamat din po sa lahat ng nakwento niyo sa amin today po. And we are really excited po kung ano pa ang mga magaganap. Especially na, yun nga, this year is really parang talagang ibang klase rin yung i-expect natin kasi yun nga, may elections. So That's hindi right. natin alam what's in store for 2022 sa ating lahat. Ano? Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, JMP, and thank you so much, uh, John Maglipon, for this opportunity. Uh, yes. A lot of unknowns out there, but we, we personally can determine our future. That's why we really have to work hard and persevere uh, during these uh, challenging times in our lives. No one else can track our lives. No one can tell us the future, but with our determination and hard work, we can chart our future. Salamat po. O, oh, Pepsters, tandaan nyo yan. Ha? No? Thank you, Pepsters! Salamat. And <laughs> sa lahat na nanood sa amin, syempre, huwag nga rin kami kakalimutan i-follow sa aming social media accounts na magpa-flash sa inyong screen and mag-subscribe sa aming YouTube channel sa Search Pep TV sa YouTube and visit www.pep.ph for a daily dose of showbiz news and updates. So, Rico, maraming maraming salamat po uli. We are so happy to have you dito. Mabuhay ka. Mabuhay ka, Jimpy. Mabuhay ka. Thank you salamat so much. Salamat po. Thank you po. Bye-bye.